Hello everyone, I'm Carlos, the lead developer of the interactive GeoMaps uh, WordPress plugin to create maps like the one you're seeing. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a map like this one, a map of the US and Canada together divided by regions and states. Maybe you can click one of the regions or states and something will happen. You can also add markers um, and do other cool stuff. So to do this, you'll actually, need, you'll actually need to create two maps, one for Canada and one for the US, and then display them together. I'm going to show you how. So you'll need to have the Interactive GeoMaps Pro version for this to work. And let's create two maps. And I'm going to start with Canada. I'm going to select Canada. I'm not going to go into much detail of how the plugin works. Uh, there's other videos where you can learn the basics. Uh, I'm going to go straight to the to the important parts. So we have Canada map. I'm going to maybe add interactivity to a couple of regions. OK. Uh, what do, can we do? We can maybe open content to the right or in a light box, display content to the right. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna do something like this. Of course, this can be HTML content or whatever you need. Okay, so just something simple for, to, for you to understand what you can do with the plugin. I'm gonna add a couple of markers. I'm gonna add the marker here, maybe another marker here. Okay, just something. And the markers won't do anything, but if you wanted them to do something, of course you could select here. But um, just to serve it as an example, I'm gonna change their color. Okay. Just a quick example. Okay, the first map is created. Now I'm going to create a second one for the USA. I'm going to select here the recommended one. Okay, I'm going to do the same. Maybe add interactivity to some um, states. Okay, and on click we're going to display content to the right, so to keep everything the same, click action. Okay, uh, I'm not going to add markers, you could add markers here also following the same procedure. And now, for the fun part, we have the US map, and we have to come here to the overlay maps option. We have Canada here. Select Canada. It's telling us to save your map and restart. To restart the live preview, I'm going to do that. Okay, here we go. So we have both maps and I've done that by clicking on the US map. It could be the other way around, but in one of the maps, you're basically going to overlay the other one. If you are not using regions, only markers, you would need to enable this option. In my case here, in my example, I don't need to do that. And uh, that's basically it. There's another uh, thing here with the US and Canada together. I think the outburst proje projection will look better. Uh, if this happens to you and you don't see anything in the preview, just update and it should bring up again the preview correctly. Okay, so now we have this. If for some reason, for example, you don't want a Y here because it messes up a bit the projection or you simply don't need it for your project you can also come here making sure you're editing the US map and down here there's the exclude regions and I'm gonna add the the Hawaii code which is HI US HI okay 
okay y is gone I'm gonna edit the height of the map maybe for 70% okay, a bit more 80 or I'm gonna leave it back to 70 something like that okay update we could zoom in a map a little bit by default uh, here in the viewport, viewport settings initial zoom maybe 1.3 Then the, it's a bit off center. We could add the center. Maybe I'm gonna see the coordinates for here to change the center. Obviously, these are what I'm doing. I'm trying to optimize the map a little bit so it fits a bit better the the available space. And I'm doing that by changing the initial center and zooming in a little bit. So when the map initially loads, it's a bit better. Oh, too high. Um, maybe change this for 99. Let me see if I got it. Oh, made it worse. Uh, no, wrong value. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's a bit of a uh, okay. We're gonna have to 48. Almost there. I'm gonna go with 50. Okay, we have the a bigger map. If you want to replicate this, so these were the values I uh, values I ended up with. So the height at 70%, initial zoom 1.3, and the center coordinates uh, 50 and minus 99. Okay, update the map. And now I'm gonna place the map on a page. Okay, US plus Canada. I'm using the block editor, but you can you could use the short code to place the the map anywhere. So remember, I placed them both together using in the US map. Maybe I should have named it differently, but this is the map I used. Okay. So document, I'm gonna say it's full width page. Of course, this depends on your theme, but just showing you how this would be done. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, US and Canada. It's a bit to the left because remember, we selected the action to display content to the right. And it's working. The markers don't do anything because they were just an, ex an example. And uh, yeah, that's mostly it. I hope um, this video is helpful. Um, if you have any question, feel free to leave a comment below or contact me through the official website contact form. Thank you, guys.